الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين when you talk about peace the world today is yearning for peace all over we see conflict whether it is conflict between nations conflict between ideals conflict between ideologies conflict on economical basis conflict on political basis we sometimes even see conflicts for personal gains every conflict takes away peace every conflict takes away tranquility every conflict takes away peace of mind and the question is do we truly need conflicts that results in removing peace of mind the answer is no We need to distinguish between competition and conflicts. Competition is healthy. Competing for good causes is healthy. Competing to come with better products is healthy. Competing to come with better services is healthy. Competing to come with better knowledge and better discoveries is really healthy. However, competing to take away lives, to scare people, to take away the basic necessities of life, and that is security stability shelter to feel that per a person is threatened by moving around that type of conflict is unhealthy now we go and ask a question can you contribute to the world peace can you contribute to the country's peace can you contribute to society's peace can you even contribute to your family's peace or to yourself's peace and the answer is yes All you have to be is be a promoter of peace. To be a promoter of peace, we need three things. Number one, we need to respect each other. We need to respect our differences. By respecting our differences does not mean that we accept them, but we merely respect that we are going to be different. For Almighty Allah says in the Quran, وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ If your Lord has willed, He would have made this universe, he would have made this world, he would have made everyone to be of one nation, to be of one unit, one community. And they continue to differ, they continue to be different, they continue to disagree. Illa man rahma rabbuk, an exception are those who have been showered with the mercy of our Lord. The difference is to complement, not to compete. So that is one. We need to respect each other. Number two, we need the element of tolerance. Tolerance is to ensure that we do tolerate the differences that we have. We allow people to go and practice whatever differences they have as long as they do not. They do not threaten the overall peace. So we need to coexist with each other and unite where we unite in thoughts and in, 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 in intellect, unite where we agree on specific elements and then respect our differences. That is number two. Number three, we need to avoid elements of retaliation. With retaliation, starting from debates, all the way to trying to make the other lose, whether it is physical, mental, emotional, or sometimes even to go to engage in using weapons. With that, if we can respect each other, tolerate each other, and then try to coexist by avoiding retaliation in all forms, that way mankind can prosper. That way mankind can coexist in peace And the only judge is going to be his Almighty Allah. The only judge is going to be Almighty Allah. We are not judges. We are merely here to try to promote peace. Salamu alaikum. And with that, to conclude, Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>